fuck it. I'm just gonna do these last two books before I get to Artemis Fowl. And then I think after that, there's like one, uh, two. After Artemis Fowl, there's like two more books to do. So we'll see. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, Clovenhoof <laughs> is by Heidi Goody and Ian Hamilton. You will remember that Odd Jobs was also by this lady, and I didn't really care for Odd Jobs. This has the same, the same people. This has the same um, genres, and like, I guess Hell is supposed to be like a corporation, and Satan for some reason is the one being evaluated, even though he's like the literal devil. Um, I always assume that in like the Judeo-Christian hell, at least, I, I'm not sure about Jewish people, but in the Christian hell, I'd always assume that it was like the demons who did the torturing and like Satan was just kind of like the overseer, I suppose. I don't know, but, um, it's been a very long time since I read the Bible, especially in its entirety. Um, but yeah, like... Satan's performance is suffering, and it's not good enough, so, like, the board recommends his removal, so he's removed and sent to Earth, and, um, I guess the plot of the book is supposed to be him learning how to be human, but I don't see why that would help him get back to hell. I don't know what the point is with sending him to Earth, like, are they trying to teach him, like, how to be human? Do they just not want him there anymore? So they think that sending actual Satan to Earth is a good idea? Like, at least with um, Lucifer, when he goes to Earth, he already, like, knows things about humans. He's been to Earth before. He's, like, got a den of sin and debauchery and lux. Like, I don't know what their plan was with Clovenhoof. I, I didn't really see... I, like, I saw the jokes, at least. <laughs> In this one, I was at least able to see the jokes. I just didn't think that they were very funny. Um, Satan being a whiny bitch is not really something that I'm here for. Like, be an insecure angel with dad issues all you want, Tom Ellis, Lucifer, but I don't care for him being a whiny bitch. It's probably why I don't really like Michael in the show, because Michael, to me, just reads as a whiny bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the next book after that is, uh, Who Fears Death by, I, I'm so sorry if I say this wrong, Indy Okorafor. Indy Okorafor. It came out in 2010, and it's sci-fi and fantasy, and yes, I picked it up because it's about black people. This book is in three parts. The main character's name is Onye Sonwu, Onye Sonwu, and, um, she's got, like, a weird power, and her name means, um, Who Fears Death. She's a non-consensual child, and mo her childhood was mostly happy. She and her mom lived in the desert, but then her mom decided that she needed to, like, learn things. So they went to a city where, like, they weren't really accepted at first because, like, children like her are believed to be, like, cursed. So, um, yeah, but there's one dude who, like, accepts them, and once he accepts them because he's, like, the city's, um, blacksmith, everybody else starts to accept them, too. And, uh, yeah. Um, skip chapter two. I can't get, can, my Kindle book version only does like locations, so I can't really give page numbers. Just get skip chapter two for the same reasons I told you to skip certain chapters in Children of the Dragon. Um, yeah. So, uh, Onye like tries to like, uh, fit in, stuff like that. She's not doing a very good job of it, but she's trying and, um, there are some girls who become her friends, and then Muita shows up, that's a boy. He is also a non-consensual child, and he tells Onye that she's an issue, and she's a shapeshifter. But, like, the guy who knows how to teach them won't teach them because he- th won't teach her because he thinks that women are, like, emotional and unable to handle it. But, like, it would be one thing if, like, nothing ever happened. But Onye's powers are kind of, like, really fucking her over and, like, messing with society. So he ends up having to take her on as a student because 
she can't do this by herself and you're just going to leave her out here and allow for her powers to ruin everyone else's life like it'd be one thing if the asshole teacher was just being an asshole and onye's powers only ruined her life but no it's affecting other people in the city too um but yeah so um yeah her dad ends up dying um like the blacksmith dude he ends up dying and as it would turn out her biological dad is the thing trying to kill her like her sperm donor um so like she ends up being chased out of her village so she decides to go and try and change like history to make it so that her people and the other people get along and everything is fine um also uh like her friends go with her but some of them kind of suck and uh Anya ends up having sex with Muita and that's cool and um Muita also dies and so does one of her friends uh Onye technically ends up dying because of like the end of the book but her goal with the with this is like to rewrite like a sacred book that like governs their world and she's able to so then she lives and this book was really really long and very very slow but it was really good and I just ugh <sighs> Um, I feel like I wasn't describing it very well, but I don't want to give away a lot of it because like there's there's a lot of like just like smaller stuff in the book that isn't condu that isn't conducive to a channel like this because it's not like part of the big plot. So yeah, and um the plot just took a while to start and that wasn't fun. Um it's a good book. It's I feel I think this is actually the only good book to that I think is good to end up on the wouldn't read again list just because it's so slow. Like that's all. Um that's really my my biggest complaint. Like that's not character based cuz like character based complaints I don't mind if they're like things about the character and not like character building, like basic facts about character building. Like the teacher annoys me, but like as a person, he annoys me. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah. Next is gonna be Artemis Fowl, and that should be fun. So, subscribe then, I suppose.